Here's an adjustment while being worn. I'll just grab onto the quick release. I'll pull on the cord in the opposite direction and it tightens up. If I want to loosen it, grab the quick release and just pull up. So here we have a scaled down version of a tent. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you use this system to tighten a guy line. I'm just going to pull the free end in one direction and the quick release in the other. There we go. You got plenty of tension there. Now when I want to release the tension or if I want to adjust the guy line, I'm simply going to pull up on the quick release and that pulls in slack from this side and then I could just feed it through right from the other. See, and every time I pull on my, my uh, quick release and my free end, I can tighten it up. And now I have my iPad mount here. Now I've always wondered how to mimic an adjustable buckle with rope. This weekend I figured it out. I don't know the name of this knot. If you do, please leave it in the comments. But this is how it's done. You take a bite of your rope and you twist it once and then you twist it twice. And what that does is leave you three different openings that you can poke your rope in and out of. So let me show you. I'm using quarter inch Paramax for both of these. I'm gonna take my black rope here and I'm gonna poke it up through this first hole, then down through the second hole, and then back up. I just weaved in and out of these three holes. Now I'm gonna take my black Paramax and I'm gonna feed it back through that first hole. And when this tightens up, it won't allow any movement from either side. So let's tighten this up real well. I'll pull this shorter end. Nothing. This longer end. Just a little bit, okay? But the more you tighten it down, the more this whole assembly scrunches down and it just clamps down on the rope in this little hole right here. Now, if I do wanna adjust it, I need to pull in some slack right here. So I'll just pull this up, right? While it's loose, I can adjust it, right? But then again, when it tightens down, it's not gonna move until I put in some slack. So in order to make this easier, I'm gonna put in a quick release. I'm just gonna thread it underneath this portion here that moves through the knot, and then it's gonna be a lot easier for me to pull in the adjustments. So now I'm gonna retie this whole system, but I'm gonna add a quick release to it. And I'm going to tie in a figure eight knot to show you how this all works. So now that we have this loop tied in, it's gonna be a little difficult to twist this like I showed you earlier. So this time I'm just gonna take the center portion of the rope and I'm gonna lay it over the other side. And now I still have my three holes that I can weave in and out of. So let me take my rope, I'm gonna pass it up. I'm gonna pass it back down and then I'm gonna pass it through. Here we go. I've weaved in and out of those three holes. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pass it through this first hole, but first I'm gonna add my quick release. And then I'm gonna tighten everything down. All right. This quick release is just a diamond knot tied on a bite. I'll show you how to tie it at the end of the video. But as long as I have everything cinched down here, if I pull on one side, I'm not gonna get any movement. Pull on the other side, same thing, no movement. But if I do want movement, I'm simply gonna pull on my quick release and then pull on either end that I wanna move at the same time. There you go. Tighten it back down. No movement, no movement there. This time I'm gonna pull on this side. There we go. Now, depending on which rope you pull on, you may have an easier time getting something to move. But as you pull on, if I pull on this one right here, it's gonna shove this rope this way. It's gonna take this loop and pinch it down. And then that's what's gonna cause a jamming motion. Now, this is quarter inch rope. It's not as effective as paracord. Paracord is much more pliable. Let me show you how that looks. So this is why I needed to use this knot. I needed to mount this iPad on a road trip and I didn't have a mount, so I turned to paracord. And so I got a piece of paracord, I have a loop tied into it. And then this is about, I don't know, let's see. It's about five wraps going around the iPad. And so here's how it starts. I'm gonna fold this cord into thirds. 
right? There's the thirds. And then I'll take my bite that I have on the loop side and I'll make a lark's foot and I'll just pull it through on the first support for the headrest. There we go. And then I'll take my long end and I'm just gonna do the same thing. This time I can't make a bite and feed it through so I'm just going to feed it around until I get the same configuration. There we go. Now I'm going to make my adjustable buckle with my little quick release. I'll make my three holes like you saw earlier, and then I'll feed this end through. So I'll poke this through here, poke this through there, poke it out on this side. I'll feed my quick release through before I pass it back through that first hole. Pass it back through the first hole and tighten everything down. There we go. Now I have an adjustable loop that will maintain its tension once I'm not pulling on this quick release. All right, so here's my big loop on my headrest. I'm gonna take it, throw it over the back, and I have these two dog ears, right? This is where I put the two corners of the iPad, okay? But the iPad's way too low, right? We're gonna adjust that. If I lean the iPad forward, I have these two inside cords. I'm just gonna take those cords and pull them to the upper corners. And this is what's gonna keep it in place. But since it's not uh, short enough, now I have to adjust it. So I'll pull my free end and my quick release and I'll pull it. There we go. We're getting closer. Let's adjust it some more. Getting closer. We're almost there. See, and every time I pull on my, my uh, quick release and my free end, I can tighten it up. And now I have my iPad mount here. I think we're just about there. There we go. Now I'm gonna adjust this so it's not interfering with the screen. Okay, good. So now we're ready for our road trip, right? But if I go to the gas station, I don't wanna leave this thing here. So I'm just gonna pop this off. There we go, I can go stick it in my trunk so the trucks don't see it. When I'm ready to pop it back in, I just stick it back in the corners. I grab my inside cords, pull it to the outside. And now we're ready to travel again. Now when I'm all done with this, I'm just gonna pull out my iPad and then I'm gonna grab my quick release and just pull it completely through. There we go. Now make sure that if you ever have this thing tied up, you never, never, never leave a child unattended with a rope or a cord fixed to any anchor point. Very dangerous, you don't want any strangulation hazards. So here's that diamond knot I was telling you about. I'm just gonna fold a piece of rope in half and I'm gonna stick it through my hand like that. I'll take this first piece of rope and I'll point it towards me. This second piece of rope that's by my pinky, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna twist it towards me and I'm gonna lay it on top of that first rope. Now I'm gonna take my finger and pull this portion up and I'll reach from behind that first rope and I'll grab this piece and I'll thread it through. There we go. Let's flatten it out so it looks nice. You should have something that looks like this. Now this is a symmetrical knot, so it's gonna do the same thing on both sides. I have this little rainbow here on the back side. I'm gonna take my first piece of rope that's pointed towards me. I'm gonna go around this little post and then back up through this little diamond here. So around the post on the back and then poke it through the front diamond here. Now you wanna make sure it stays on this side of the post, you don't want it to flop over behind it. Stay on the right side of the post. And now I'll pull it through. There we go. Now I'll rotate this so that you can see the other side. Here's my rope that's pointed towards me. I'm gonna go around the back and then poke through the front. Again, make sure it doesn't flop over. 
There we go. Now when I pull this tight, it'll fall into a diamond knot. And then this is what I use for my quick release. For the paracord version, I use black paracord for the adjustable buckle and also the strap. And then my quick release is just a diamond knot and some orange, right? And so if I want to tighten it, I pull on this barrel knot here and on my quick release and I just pull. And you can see I'm tightening it up. If I want to loosen it, I just pull on the adjustable uh, or the quick release and let it cinch back down.